In this video, we'll take a closer look at the final version of the HD Street Band website. Now, this final version is a fully dynamic, data-driven website. So let's see now how this version differs from the static version of the site that we visited in the previous chapter. Now, the home page is pretty much the same. So this is not where we will see most of the differences, at least not now. So let's jump to the agenda section here. And you see that I'm using a file called agenda.cfm. The .cfm extension tells us that this is a cold fusion page. It's not anymore an HTML file. Now, I have a list here of all the upcoming events. If I click on one of those events, read more, you see that I'm still using the same agenda.cfm page. But now I pass to that page a parameter. And that parameter tells Confusion what is the event that I want to see on that page. If I return to the main agenda page by clicking on this link, I'm still using the same page, agenda.cfm, the same CFM file, the same Confusion file, but without any parameter. And when there is no parameter, Confusion knows that it needs to display a list of uh, all the upcoming events that are present in the database. Now, let's take a look at the news section. Here, if I go to the news section, I see a list of all the news available on the website. And I'm using here the news.cfm file. If I click on one of those read more links, same story as for the agenda section. I'm still using the same file, the same news.cfm file, but I pass to that file here a parameter to tell Confusion which news I want to see. If I go back to the news section, no more parameters, so Confusion displays a list of all the available news. Let's take a look at the archives here. If I click on one of those years, for example 2015, I see the list of news of the year 2015. Notice here how the title of the page has, uh, has changed. And notice also another type of parameter to tell Confusion which news we want to see. If I go to 2014 right here, I see the news of 2014. There was only one news in that year. Notice the title that has changed and notice also here the, the parameter that has changed to tell Confusion what uh, list of news I want to see. Now let's take a look now at one of those news. Let's happy birthday here. At the bottom, I can, if I want to, I can comment that news. And this is new. This is something that was not present on the static version. So let's comment that news. I will type my name. I'm Damien. Tani, you're the best. There we go. And then I have here a security feature, a CAPTCHA, that is to, to fight against spamming. So I have to copy those characters, you know the trick. There we go. And I can now submit my comment. Okay, let's take a look at the bottom of that page. And you see that my comment here has been submitted. You see the date, you see my name, you see here my comment. And you see a disclaimer, this comment has not yet been moderated. All right, so this is how the news section works. And you see that we have a nice little feature that has been added here to that uh, dynamic site. Okay, let's go to the uh, Come Play With Us page. Now here the Come Play With Us page contains some static uh, information. So this is not really different from what we have seen uh, in the, the static version. But we have that form. Now, I will fill the form as I did on the static website. So, my name is Damien. My last name didn't change. Maybe it's, yes, it's still in the browser. This is my email address. There we go. My instrument. I still play saxophone. And my comment. All right. Now, when I click on join the band, I have a message that says, thank you, your demand has been correctly submitted. So no more uh, email client that opens, no more sending the data by email. In this case, the website did handle that data without the need of an email client. All right, so let's go back to the home page. And you see on the home page, I have here a login form. So this is different, but basically that login form is the only thing that changes on the home page. Notice that that logging form is available on each and every page of the site. So uh, I will now type an email address here. 
and you will type the same email address as me. I will type administrator at hdstreet.com and the password appears now on your screen. So when you type that password and log in, you will uh, see um, some other links here. So you have access to your profile. You could eventually change your password, change your email address, add some comments. This is not what we will do now. We can log out, but because we are the site administrator, we have access to an whole other and an whole new area, which is the site administration. And here you see that we have one comment to approve and there is one new user to approve. So let's go to the comments admin section here to see that comment. So here you see the comments that have been uh, entered in the database previously. And here we have a new comment to approve. You see the news that that comment is related to. We can approve the, 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 the comment. We can modify the comment. We can reject that comment. Let's approve this one. So here, there it is. So that comment here has been approved. And now if I go back to the comments page, you see that I have this news that has been commented. And if I click on view comment, I see both comments here that has been approved for that news, which include my comment here that I have submitted from the front end. Okay, let's go to the users page. And here you see that I have one user to approve. That user is Damien. Uh, it has made a nice comment. And so I will again approve that. I can view that user. I can view the data that the user has uh, submitted. And I can, of course, return here to the users and approve that user or delete the user if I don't want to approve it. So let's approve that user. We need uh, we need a saxophone player in the band anyway. So uh, this is done. We have I have approved that user. Now, let's go to the news page here. I have a list of news and here you see I can add a news, I can uh, edit the news, I can delete the news. Let's edit this news, for example, the happy birthday, Tony. I will change, for example, the title of that news, happy 60th birthday, Tony. I can also change, for example, the, the date of the news. I will make the date of today. So today we are in... Uh, January, we are the 28th of January in 2016, and I will update that news. Okay, this is done. You see that the news here has been updated. Let's go to the events page of the administration site, and I can add here an event, for example, a new concert. And that new concert will take place in, uh, let's say, in April. There we go. The event location is in uh, Austin, Texas. The event venue is an open door. It's on the street. And here is the description of the event. OK, let's add that event to the database. And there it is. You see, we have here a new event for 2016. So here is the, the next event actually in the database. So let's now log out and take a look at the home page. You see that the home page has changed. It displays the very latest news because we have changed the date. This is now the new news that is displayed in the home page. Notice also here the next event. You see that the very next event is the new event that I have created here in the database. Notice here also when I go on the agenda page that this is my next event, which is here. And now here on the side, I have that next event, which is also displayed here on the side because it's the next one. If I go to the news section, you see that the title of the news here has changed. And if I click on read more, this is the new title. And now if I go back to the bottom of the page, you see that this comment has been approved. So the disclaimer is not present anymore. So here you can see that the, the dynamic, the data driven uh, version of the site is a little bit different from the static version that you have seen earlier. The site is much easier to maintain. You can add and change content very easily. And you can also provide some interactive features to your users. They can comment the news and they can also submit their uh, application to join the band uh, directly on the website.